Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about what happened in Cochrane, Alberta's real estate market in the month of August and compare that to how things are going in Calgary, Airdrie, and the surrounding communities. But first things first, great news came out today. The Bank of Canada dropped that interest rate again, making it the third consecutive drop, bringing it down to now about 4.25%. And for those of you who, like me, are staring down a mortgage renewal in the next few months, that is some really good news here heading into the fall market where typically things start to slow down and this might breathe a little life into it. I know previously with the rate sitting about 4.5, my renewal was sent to me with a 4.5% mortgage rate offer. Uh, so with that coming down another quarter percent, I'm expecting the same thing to be matched from my mortgage company. And hopefully on October 23rd there, we see one more before, you know, at least I have to renew. So the gut feeling is that things are going to continue to go down and that there is going to be another drop, which would make it the fourth consecutive one. And I think that would be something really awesome for the market currently. But enough about my mortgage renewal and what the mortgage rates are doing. Let's dive into what Cochrane Alberta's real estate market did this last month. And before we jump into Cochrane Alberta's real estate market, if you like the content on this channel and you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button, click a subscribe, and maybe even drop a comment in the video below. It really helps my video get in front of more eyes and helps more people find out this information about Cochrane, Alberta. Thanks, let's get to it. Now, in terms of activity, there's about 81 sales and 109 new listings. While that is still more new listings than sales, it did keep that sales to new list ratio at about 74%. So it really did not have any meaningful effect on our inventory levels here in Cochrane. In fact, while the inventory levels are showing a slight growth year over year, they're still almost 42% lower than Cochrane's normal inventory at this time of year. So we are still seeing, unlike Calgary's real estate market, very much still a seller's market here out in Cochrane. And that's evident by the price jumps in both the total detached market and the detached market here in Cochrane. In terms of the total benchmark price, it rose about 8% year over year, coming up to about 578,000 and change. And looking at the detached price, it followed suit with about an 8.7% increase year over year, bringing that value up to about 681,000 and change for a detached home here in Cochrane. Now, one of the interesting things to note is that the time on market is starting to change. In Calgary, we're seeing now almost 27 days as the mean time on market for a listing, which is getting up closer to that one month range. At the peak in busyness, we were only seeing, you know, 14 to 21 days, which really means homes were selling on that day and two weeks of condition time, if any. So with seeing a little bit of an increase on days on market, that's showing what Calgary's market's doing with that little bit of a slowdown that's been all over the news. Now, Cochrane is still sitting at about 24 days on market. So a little bit closer to that, you know, takes a week to sell, two week condition time, 21 day mark. So we're getting really close. Um, yes, we still have seen a little bit of an increase, but if you look at how much homes are selling for compared to list price, Cochrane is still sitting at about 98%. So while there has been a bit more room as of late for going in and offering maybe under list or under ask, Cochrane still is really holding value in it when it comes to listings on the market currently. Now, while Cochrane is sitting, you know, slightly ahead of Calgary and also Airdrie in terms of the fact that it's still remaining to be a really strong seller's market, Cochrane does still have slightly less month of supply than Airdrie. However, Okotoks is kind of shot off here. They had a bunch of sales in August and Okotoks is sitting at only 1.3 months of supply and is showing one of the more tight markets around Calgary. Now that's going to drive some bigger price growth down in Okotoks, which I mean, Okotoks is still outside of the city, gives you that kind of more like Western feel. There's horses nearby, cattle ranching nearby, and kind of gives you a little bit more of that mountain view because you are a little bit Southwest of the city. Cochrane still gives you a much better location in terms of being close to Banff, Lake Louise, Kananaskis, unless we're talking South Kananaskis, than does Okotoks. So I do expect Cochrane to remain being a little bit tight here. Now, if we look back a year, it is the fall market, kids are back in school, winter is coming. So obviously the slowdown of listings is gonna to start to show here. And it'll be interesting to see if that slowdown of listings slows the buyers 
or if the buyers remain interested, which could then even lead to more price increases. Now, in terms of listings on the market and new construction versus previously lived in homes, Cochrane is going to start to see another boost here of new construction homes, probably earlier in this fall or moving through the winter months here as we start to release lots in the new upcoming community of South Bow Landing. I know if you've been driving or by or can see, they've done a ton of stripping and grading in this community. Show homes are being built. And I believe the first show homes are scheduled to be opening here later this fall. So keep in mind, we are going to see some inventory jumps once those lots get released and start hitting the market. And again, like we talked about in previous videos, those big jumps and big postings of new construction homes can really put a little bit of a false sense of true inventory on the market because while the listing exists, the home cannot be moved into for sometimes up to seven to eight to nine months. So while it does show up in the inventory levels, it's not a home that is actually available to be lived in at the time that it's being listed. So that is one really important thing to keep in mind when we're looking at new construction listing. Again, I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, I really appreciate it if you dropped a comment below, tell me what you think of Cochrane Alberta's real estate market. And as always, thank you and I will see you in the next video.